And now, your first Alert 5 weather. It's beginning to look a lot like Halloween in Colorado. Snow today, take a look at near San Isabel. It's about three miles outside of San Isabel. It looks like about five to six inches of wet, heavy snow up there. It was a slopper, good sloppy snow. Decent water content with this one, exactly what we needed. That's a live look from Wolf Creek Ski Area, the summit of the uh, San Juans there. Just a stunning sight to see. All right, here's what it looks like in the springs. That's from our Rock Room and Studios. Thankfully, the wind has finally died down. 40 is the current temperature out at the airport. It is still breezy out of the northwest. The feels like the wind chill is 31 degrees. Live from downtown Pueblo, some beneficial rain across parts of the Steel City. Southwest side of town near South Park Elementary School two tenths of an inch of rain just this afternoon. That's live from the hill. Traffic flowing smoothly, both northbound and southbound with dry skies there. Still have winter weather advisories and also a winter storm warning active. This from La Vida Pass, the San Grace, Cuchara, all the way down to the New Mexico line. Could get another two to possibly four inches of snow by late tonight across these areas. In the purple shaded area, another one to three inches of snow certainly possible by late tonight. La Vida Pass closed right now due to the intensity of this storm system. And there it is, Wrapping up across northern New Mexico right now. Drier air already starting to shove in across northern Colorado. That drier air pushes from north to south throughout the night tonight. Now tomorrow, whole different deal around here. High pressure is going to feed that surface trough out to the east of us. More of a downslope flow. So after that cold start tomorrow morning, you get a big helping of sunshine and temperatures tomorrow will be. There's your keyword right there. Warmer 10 to 15 degrees warmer than what we had across the area today. And as a bonus, you won't have to deal with any strong wind tomorrow morning. Dress warmly. It's going to be cold 7 a.m. temperatures into the 20s up and down the I-25 corridor by 10 a.m. shaking off the icicles by lunchtime. There's your recovery mode right there. Very comfortable and during the afternoon it's really going to be nice. Real dramatic impact once that downslope flow kicks in and scours out this real cold air. Temperatures today, Pueblo only 48 degrees. In Colorado Springs, out at the airport, we landed four hundredths of an inch of precip. With that, so far this month, still only 15 hundredths of an inch of moisture all month long. Yes, it's going to be cold tonight. Throw another blanket on the bed, inch up the thermostat. 25 in both Colorado Springs and Pueblo. You can see everyone at or below the freezing mark tonight. Really cold across some of the high mountain valleys, West Cliff into the single digits. And tomorrow, pretty decent day considering what it looks like and feels like out across parts of the viewing area right now. Much warmer temperatures on the way. Here's your super seven day forecast in Colorado Springs. Blue sky, sunshine, and no wind to worry about all day long gets even better over the weekend. How about highs of 60 degrees both Saturday and Sunday on Monday for the big candy shakedown? Well, the tricksters are going to love that sunshine throughout the day, mostly clear skies during the tricking hours, unseasonably mild Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even into next Thursday for Pueblo cold tonight, cold tomorrow morning. That's a, then it's on to bigger, brighter, better things. Award winning weather for that last weekend of October and on Monday. Take a look at that. It's a Halloween heat wave with mostly clear skies, unseasonably mild 70s Monday, Tuesday, even into Wednesday. Dry skies for the next seven days for Canyon City, Penrose, Florence all the way back to the Royal Gorge. It's going to be royal gorgeous across the area here for the next several days anyway. Halloween looks awfully nice. Woodland Park after a frigid frosty start tomorrow morning. You're going to be in meltdown mode melting that snow you got today. Nice weekend that dry mild pattern going to continue into the middle part of next week and then changes new storm rolling in by Thursday. Rob.